Now I've traveled every strip of asphalt from Bourbon Street to Rodeo Drive, seeking common Joes and Janes and testing their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. Now it'll be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a few peas short of a pod. And speaking of players, let's meet them. We have the lovely Barbara. <laughs> What's up, Mick? Mick, right there. Come me, Mick. All right. Whenever it's do or die here on Street Smarts, the winner gets the pot and the loser gets squat. <laughs> now, let's meet the three people, people they'll be making snap judgments about. First, Christine in Times Square somehow recited my whole video collection. So where are you from and what do you do? I'm from New Jersey, and I'm an actress. <laughs> Christine, I understand you're a, a Playboy model. That would be correct. I was in Girls of Summer. I was in Locker Room Fantasies. Oh, yes, I remember you. Many of them. <laughs> okay. If you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? I'd probably have to pick like a superhero or somebody, you know, like Spider-Man or something. Spider-Man. Yeah. If he can climb up buildings, can you imagine what else he can do? <laughs> All right, there's Christine. And then fresh off the boat, I met Rick. So Rick, where are you from? San Diego. San Diego, and how long have you been in the Navy? Three years. Three years in the Navy, and what do you do in the Navy? I'm an electrician. What three words describe you best? Energetic, handsome, smart ass, charming. <laughs> can, can I continue? What's your favorite phrase or motto? Mind over matter. I don't mind, you don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Finally, Shelly in Vegas shared a Kodak moment. Excuse me. Shelly, where are you from and what do you do? Uh, I'm from Azusa, California, and I'm a housewife. If you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? Alan Jackson. Alan, the country singer? You got it. Don't rock the jukebox? You got it. Do you have any unusual talents? I flashed our video camera without knowing it was on, and then they played it back for the family on videotape. <laughs> well, hey, let's recreate that moment right now. Go for it. I don't think so. Here we go. <laughs> Not even. National TV. <laughs> no. Millions of people. <laughs> It's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in a choice, and a correct guess will win you 100 bucks. Okay, guys? So let's get this show on the road. Make some money for both of you. All right. Here's the first question I asked to Christine, Rick, and Shelly. Who killed Ernest Hemingway? So flip up your paddles and tell me who knew it, guys. Who killed Ernest Hemingway? Was it Christine, Rick, or Shelly? Barbara is in a coma. Okay, there we go. Right. You were Christine. studying the marks. That's good. Yeah, I was That's fine. With Christine. Oh, okay. You're going with Christine. We're locked in. We got a Rick. We got a Christine. Now, Mick, you think Rick knows it? I think Rick knows it because Rick seems very self-assured. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. <laughs> Who killed Ernest Hemingway? Himself, wasn't it? What do you mean himself? He killed himself. That is correct. Hi. Oh, there you go. There you go. Rick got it right. Hundred bucks for you. Nice job. Okay, Barbara. We're gonna see if Christine knows the answer. Let's check it out. Who killed Ernest Hemingway? Probably his wife, man. He just kept writing books. Right. So she killed him? She was bored. She had to have killed him. I she mean, was saying, hey, put down the typewriter. You know. Look, stop writing books. I mean, me give me some attention. She was cooking and cleaning, and she killed him. Had to be his wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrong answer, Barbara. I'm sorry he committed suicide. That's oh, a correct answer. Christine did not know that one. So Don't bad. worry. That's only question number one. Here we go with number two. What continent is just south of North America? Who knew it? What do you think? What continent is just south of North America? Who knew it? Christine, Rick, or Shelly knew that one. All right, and... Bam! Rick! Okay, you guys are both logged in. And Barbara, Barbara, you're going with Rick this time. It looked like it worked for Mick. You think Rick will know this? Well, Rick's in the Navy, and I'm sure he knows something about right? geography. Right, good strategy, and Mick, I'm sure you would agree. Exactly. All right, let's see Who if we can get you guys 100 bucks. What continent is just south of North America? Just south of North America, that'd be Mexico. Be Mexico, that's the continent right, right below us. Right below that would be South America. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a wrong answer. You both had Rick. He said Mexico. That is an incorrect answer. For the correct answer, we're going to go to Shelly. What continent is just south of North America? South America? <laughs> Give me a country in South America. Africa. That's the right answer, South America, even though Africa is also a continent. Okay. Here's the last question of the round. Where would you find the space needle? Who knew it? What do you think? Uh, you think it was Christine, uh, Rick, or Shelly knew that one, guys? Mm, it's a tough one. Crowd's murmuring a little bit, too. Oh, we're going to go. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're locked in. And, uh, <laughs> Mick, uh, you're very excited when you lock in. I like it. You have Christine. I like it. it feels you, good. You think Christine will know this? Christine. She seems like she's been around the world. Let okay. me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's find out. <laughs> Christine, where would you find the space needle? The space needle would be found in that in the sewing box. You know when you're looking for a needle, right. and you've got to like rummage through all the spools of thread, and then you find it like on the bottom, and it's like 
you know, kind of gnarly. It's a little bit rusty. So that's where you find Space it? Space Needle, okay. yeah, totally. <laughs> It's the wrong answer, Mick. I am sorry, Christine didn't know that. Now, Barbara, you think Shelly can tie the game up for you, huh? Yes. Think definitely. she'll know this? Crowd seems to be on the on your side. Let's find out. Where would you find the Space Needle? In Seattle. Seattle. Washington. There you go. There you go, Barbara. You got 100 bucks. Nice job, Seattle, Washington. Barbara, you have 100 dollars after round one. Mick, you also have 100 bucks. All right, we got a tie game. Now, hang tight, folks. We'll find out which one of our savants blew it when we return. What were Fat Man and Little Boy? Oh, you're not talking about me? <laughs> the kid's on a game show or something. Kid's on a game show? Well, actually, you know, here it is where we're talking about Fat Man and Little Boy. And... <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our players. Now, Barbara, uh, I hear you have a knack of meeting, uh, meeting people in heavy traffic. Oh, I was driving in heavy traffic <clears throat> and accidentally ruined the car in front of me. <laughs> I jumped out to see if the driver in the car were okay. Turned out to be my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. So you hit her car. Wow. Yeah, I called my boyfriend up that night. Hey, guess who I ran into? <laughs> okay, all right. Now, Mick, I hear you're a master of accents. Yeah, an East Indian store clerk. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you for the last time, get your stuff, come to the counter, pay for it, and get out of my store. I'm going home early to watch Street Smarts. Very <laughs> nice. Wow. He watches Street Smarts. Okay, guys, time to put up or shut up as we head into our next round. Who blew it? Oh. This time we ask the same question only two of our test dummies. One answer right, one answer wrong. Each time Barbara or Mick correctly identifies who botched the question, they get 200 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap. Here's how. When you hear a question you think your opponent's too empty-headed to answer, slap the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. Remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so don't get slap happy. Okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, can keep your hands off, Barbara. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, here's the first question I asked to both Christine and to Rick. I asked them, turn your body counterclockwise. So flip up your paddles, guys. Tell me, who blew it? Who did not know how to do that? Was it Christine or Rick? We got a tie game here, 100 bucks oh, each. Right here. Okay. Right here, baby. Yeah, you're both locked in. Now, Mickey, then Christine can't do this. Christine can't do it. And Barbara, you're agreeing There's on no that? There's no way. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see if she blew it, guys. 200 bucks for each of you. Christine, turn your body counterclockwise. Here? In yes. Front of all these right people? here in Times Square. In Times Square? Okay. Did they get that right? No, that was clockwise. <laughs> she got it wrong. Way to go, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Turn your body counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Right. The point of that was what? <laughs> to see if you could do it. See if I was educated. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, educated. <laughs> you got it, Rip. Way to go. Okay. All right, guys, here's the next question I asked to Christine and to Shelly. How many players are required in a game of solitaire? So, who blew it? What do you think? What do you think? Who blew it, guys? Christine or Shelly? Couldn't answer that one for us. Uh, I'm staying right here. Uh, you guys right are both here. locked in. Barbara, you think Christine is going right to blow this? Here. You think she's going to blow it? Yeah, because she just seems like a bubbly airhead. Okay, all right, let's take a look. See if she blew it. <laughs> How many players are required in a game of solitaire? This is a really tough one. Can I think on it for a little while? Sure. One, okay, me, you. myself, and I. So you can, one. Right, so you can play with yourself. All by myself. Oh, yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Christine got that right. She did not blow it. It looks like Shelly's the one who blew it. Let me you show what? you right here. How many players are required in a game of solitaire? Two. Two? Yes. Solitaire, usually, you know, it's just solitude. You play by yourself. <gasps> You're right. <laughs> No, flash us, go. Flash, flash, flash. No, you're not getting that. <laughs> Still won't do it. All right. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay, all right. guys, you each have $300. Here's the I'm last question back. of the round. I asked both okay. Rick and Shelly. I asked them, what is truth said to be stranger than? Oh, you've been done, Barbara. Mick, throw the camera up on her. All right, Barbara, I'm going to read the question again. $200 on the line. If you get it right, the money stays with hair. you. If you get it wrong, uh, Mick gets the money. Okay? So I'm going to read the question again. You have five seconds. What is truth said to be stranger than? Fiction. Oh, that's the right answer. Way to go, Barbara. He's upset. Barbara, throw that cap on him. You get the 200 bucks. 
Now, the task at hand, guys, up here, who do you think blew it of Rick and Shelly, guys? Who do you think? Rick or Shelly blew this one? Barbara takes a $200 lead there. What do you think, Barbara? Oh, okay. <laughs> right here, baby. Okay, you guys are both locked in. You think Shelly, make Shelly's gonna blow this like a... Uh... She can't do it. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. She, she still have two people playing solitaire. All right, that's right, let's take a look. What's up with that? What is truth said to be stranger than? Stranger than fiction. What does that mean? Mm, my life story. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys, you both had Shelly. She got it right. She did not blow it. It looks like Rick's the one who blew it. I'll show you right here. What is truth said to be stranger than? Stranger than a lie. Stranger than a lie. <laughs> it's not a right answer. All right, let's recap the scores here. Mick, okay. you got 300 bucks. I got 300. Got 300. But Barbara blocked your dunce. She's up to $500. Took the lead on the dunce. Nice job, Barbara. It's going to be a horse race as our players kick their ponies next. Where are the mammary glands? The mammary glands are in your head, in your brain, actually. In your brain? And what do the mammary glands do? So you can remember things. Right. Do you have good mammary glands? I used them when I was younger, but it's fading away right now. It's, it's sagging a little? Yeah. <laughs> I got sagging memory. Welcome back. It's time to slap on those furs and pick your pony. This time Barbara and Rick will each choose one of the three Colts for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. The correct prediction is worth 300 smackaroos. Yeah, and we're going to leave the dice cap in this round. And remember, it can only be used once, and it's worth another 300 bucks. Now, the player who is trailing chooses first. Mick, that's you. So who would you like to giddy up on? Let's giddy up on Shelly. On not, Shelly? All not right. Real, okay, and Barbara, how about you? Who would you like to choose? I think I'm going to go with Rick. Going to go with Rick or yeah. Sailor? All right, very good. All right, Mick, here's the first question I asked to Shelly. You're trailing by 200 bucks. The correct prediction will give you the lead. Okay. I showed Shelly this photo oh, and asked yeah. her, who is this freak? I think she got it right or wrong, Mick. What do you think? Oh, I'm going to say she got it right. Think she got it right? All right. I think she knows this question. Okay. She's got to know this. Let's see if you can take the lead, buddy. Shelly, who is this freak? Dennis Rodman. Do you like Dennis Rodman? Oh. Hey. Tony, kiss you. Mick, that's the right answer. Gives you up to 600 bucks. Nice job. You got a $100 lead. Okay, Barbara. Here's the first question I asked to Rick. I asked Rick, John Wayne Gacy played a clown at children's parties. What was he famous for? Oh, you've been done, Barbara. Go ahead, Mick. Throw the cap up there, Barbara. Three dollars on the line. If you get it right, money is yours. If you get it wrong, Mick's going to extend his lead. I'm going to read it again. John Wayne Gacy played a clown at children's parties. What was he famous for? I don't know this one. That's a wrong answer, Mick. You get the money. Way to go, buddy. 300 bucks for you, Barbara. I'm sorry. But now, Barbara, you got to tell me, uh, do you think Rick got it right or wrong? You missed that. So do you think Rick knows it? God, no. <laughs> OK, all right. Let's see if he missed it. John Wayne Gacy played a clown at children's parties. What was he famous for? Clarabelle? It was Mr. Clarabelle. Yeah. Clarabelle the Clown was on what show? Howdy Doody, I think. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Barbara. Three dollars for you. Now, the I'm correct sorry. answer, Mick. You dunced on that, but do you know the correct answer? Yes, I do. What is the correct answer? He was a serial killer. Serial killer. Very That's good. Right. All right. That's right. Thank okay. Here's the next question to Shelly for you, Mick. I asked Shelly, "What's a cockamamie idea? What's a cockamamie oh, idea?" Did she Shelly get it right? Okay. Let me what do you think? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say she got this one wrong. Think she got this one wrong? She can't figure it. All right. It let's check it out. No. Nope. What's a cockamamie idea? Something totally off the wall. What that do you mean? You would never, that you would never think of. Give me a cockamamie idea. What I'm doing right now, okay. I never did it before. <laughs> she got that right, Mick. I'm sorry. That is a correct answer. A ridiculous idea is a cockamamie idea. So no money for you on that. Okay, that's Still got okay. a $900, $800 okay. lead. But Barbara, you can take the lead uh, if you get this one right. I asked Rick, according to legend, what happens when you experience spontaneous combustion? I think Rick got this right or wrong, Barbara. I think you got it right, because once the kid is in the Navy, he has to know something about science. And okay, all right, good strategy. Let's see if he does. <clears throat> According to legend, what happens when you experience spontaneous combustion? Boom! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> explode. But like, why would, why would a human body explode? Too much soda drinking? <laughs> okay, that's the right answer, Barbara. You are right. You are uh, internally exploding the flames. Way to go. You're up in the lead now. You got $1,100. Now, Mick, here's the last question to you. This is the last one for you in the round. 
Frank Stevens. I asked Shelly. <laughs> Thank you, Mick. I asked Shelly, what is known as the Big Apple? Oh. Uh, you're trailed by $200 here. If you get this one right, you'll take a little lead here, hopefully going to the wager of death, even though Barbara has one more question to answer. So what do you think? Okay. Shelly, what, what is known as the Big Apple? Well, Shelly had a few apples. I'm going right. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can jump into She's a lead here. Been. What is known as the Big Apple? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. You ever been the Big Apple? No, I haven't. Have you ever been in New York? Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. She got that wrong. The correct answer, New York City. All right. Now, Barbara, here's the last question uh, for you. Now, you, you looks like you're going to have the lead no matter what going into the wager of death. I asked Rick, what is aromatherapy? Do you think he got that right or wrong? What is uh, aromatherapy? See if you can extend your lead here. Wrong. You think he got it wrong? I think you have to be a girl to know about this. <laughs> All right. Let's check it out. What is aromatherapy? Um, Roman mythology? Roman mythology? I guess. So, who's your favorite figure in Roman uh, mythology? Socrates. Socrates? It's a wrong answer. Way to go, Barbara. Another $300 for you. Uh, the correct answer. Do any guys know the correct answer? Aromatherapy? Guys, what is it? Yeah, there you go. It's a sensitive oh, man yeah. in the crowd. The oh. practice of using oils and, uh, and aromas for healing. All right, let's recap the scores. Mick, you got 900 bucks. You're still in this game. It's Don't okay. worry. Right. But Barbara had a nice round. $1,400. Oh, yeah. You got a $500 lead. Nice job, Barbara. Now, when we return, Barbara and Mick will be making a final prediction on the question I asked of Christine, Rick, and Shelly. I asked them, when President Clinton said, I did not have sexual relations with that woman, who was he talking about? Stay tuned because the only thing worse than getting busted with an intern is missing out on the wager. Don't go away, Malcolm. <laughs> Welcome back. Barbara and Nick, here's the story. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Mm -hmm. Now, make your trail. You got 900 bucks, buddy. Now, if you win some money, what are you going to do with it? I'm gonna feed the homeless. Aww. Me? Yeah, oh, him. Oh, okay. Right. Now, Barbara, you're in the lead. You got $1,400. Possibility of some big money here. What would you do with uh, your winnings? I'm probably gonna visit my hometown, Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, very nice. Aww. Anchored down in Anchorage. All right, very nice. Now, remember, only the winner leaves with the dividends, which means everything rides on this final question. And here's a question I asked to Christine, Rick, and Shelly. When President Clinton said, I did not have sexual relations with that woman, who was he talking about? Now, make your trail by only 500 bucks. Who do you, whose clip do you want to see? Well, let's see. You're going to go with Christine. Christine. All right. Now, Barbara, you got a lead. Who do you want to see? I also You're also Christine. going with Christine. All right. Well, nobody picked Rick or Shelly. We're going to say oh, bye to them. Bye. So there's only one yeah. clip left in the show. You both went with the same person. So this outcome is everything. Let's check it out. When President Clinton said, I did not have sexual relations with that woman, who was he talking about? Her name is, is, is Lewinsky, baby, Monica Lewinsky. Yeah. That's a correct answer. Christine got that right. That is a correct answer. Now, Mick, you had Christine. She got it right. What did you say? You said, uh, oh, you said she get it right. Mick, how much you get out of that 900 bucks? How much did you wager? Boom. He went all of it. He doubled it. $1,800. Mick, you are now in the lead. Now, Barbara, you also went with Christine. You're now trailing here. She got the question right. Monica Lewinsky, what did you say she would do? Well, I said she'd get it wrong. Oh, no. How much did it cost you, Barbara? You lost the game. You wagered it all. Kicks you out of zero. Doesn't matter, Mick. You just won.